As part of Marvel Phase 6, the MCU's take on the Fantastic Four is still way off, but there's already a lot to look forward to, and speculation about who will play the family has been almost as strong as news that actors want to be in the MCU epic. So today, we're going to discuss everything we know so far about MCU's Fantastic Four, and talk about the actor campaigning to play Johnny Storm. Starting off with the fact that this isn't going to be an origin story, Marvel hasn't said much about the plot of Fantastic Four yet, but according to the boss, Kevin Feige himself, the movie won't be another origin story. We all know that four of them first got superpowers when they were exposed to cosmic rays on a science mission to space, but it looks like this won't be shown on screen again, and we don't know how to feel about that. According to Feige at SDCC, he said that many people already know this story, and they understand the basics. For this one, they're trying to show us something we haven't seen before. Since the origin story has been the focus of the previous movies, it makes sense that Marvel would try something different different for the next one. The studio also tends to avoid traditional plots in MCU movies, and since the Fantastic Four first appeared in 1961, we think they could go in many other directions. The franchise could also introduce a lot of bad guys, like Namor, the Silver Surfer, Galactus, and not to forget, Doctor Doom. Also, Ronan the Accuser, who Lee Pace played in Captain Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy, has crossed paths with them in the past. But we're placing our bets on Doctor Doom to show up first. Next Next up, will John Krasinski star in Fantastic Four? Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, is one of the original members of the Fantastic Four. He's one of the smartest scientists in the Marvel Universe, who's an expert in engineering, alien biology, chemistry, and physics. As for his superpowers, he's known for his ability to stretch, but most of us already know that. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, we saw that John Krasinski played Richards. He was a member of the Illuminati, a group of superheroes who make decisions that affect the whole universe. Showing up in the classic Fantastic Four blue uniform with the logo on it, he was called the smartest man alive by the Illuminati. But there's one problem. Wanda Maximoff killed him in a brutal way just minutes after he first appeared on the big screen. So it's hard to guess if Krasinski will return to play Reed Richards. Followed by, so who's going to play Reed Richards? Since we're talking about the multiverse, there's probably another version of the character on Earth-616, the MCU's Earth. But we don't know if this is who the Fantastic Four movie will focus on, or if the character will look like Krasinski. Yes, Doctor Strange's different versions looked like him, but different actors have played Loki and Spider-Man in the MCU. With all this being said, if we were to place our bets, it kinda seems likely Krasinski will return. He's a fan favorite and a big Hollywood star, so it would be surprising if this were the last time we saw him in a suit. But the director of Multiverse of Madness, Sam Raimi, has said that the casting was only done to fulfill fan wishes. That's too bad. Not to mention, who's going to get cast to play Sue Storm? Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, is also one of the original members of the Fantastic Four and is married to Mr. Fantastic. She got her powers after being exposed to cosmic radiation and has the ability to make force fields and become invisible. In the past, we saw Jessica Alba and Kate Mara playing the superhero, but no actor has expressed the desire to play the role again. And this has led fans to wonder if Krasinski's real-life wife, Emily Blunt, could play the part. She turned down the role of Black Widow, which later went to Scarlett Johansson, because she couldn't find a time that worked for her. On top of that, she and Krasinski have worked together before in the A Quiet Place movies, so they have a good track record. But Blunt has bluntly said in the past that the rumors are just made up by fans. And depending on who you ask, other people have also been linked to the iconic role, and some of them are Jodie Comer and Sorshi Ronan, but nothing is certain as of now. What's more, who's playing Johnny Storm and Ben Grimm. Johnny Storm is Sue's younger brother, and he too is exposed to cosmic radiation on their mission that ends in disaster. As a result, he gains the ability to change his body into a plasma-like state that is hot and glowing. So far, there have been no rumors about who would play this role, except for one actor who's been campaigning for the role with the help and support of his fans. But we'll come to that later in this video. We've seen Chris Evans and Michael B. Jordan playing this character in the past franchises of the Fantastic Four. But Evans' big MC role as Captain America makes it unlikely he'd go back to playing the Human Torch. And we saw Jordan playing Eric Killmonger in Black Panther, so we expect a new actor to play the part. As for Ben Grimm, he was an astronaut who went to space with his best friend Richards. But the cosmic radiation had the worst effect on his body as it turned him into The Thing, a monster that looked like a very strong rock. In 2005 and 2007, his role was played by Michael Chiklis, and in 2015 it was played by Jamie Bell. 
neither actor plans to play the role again, but Chiklis did have some advice for the person who will play the role next. He said that they should use CGI to make their costumes, and revealed that the wardrobe was different but it was still pretty cool. But don't you worry Mr. Chiklis, you're the best thing ever to play the character on screen. Not to forget, who's directing Fantastic Four, and when is it being released? Initially, John Watts was hired to direct Fantastic Four when the movie was first announced. Watts is widely known for directing the hugely successful Spider-Man trilogy for Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios, but he later said he wouldn't be making another superhero movie and backed out of the picture, and expressed his gratitude for working with Kevin Feige, and said that he had amazing and life-changing time making the three Spider-Man movies. At D23, though, it was announced that Matt Shackman, who directed WandaVision, will now be directing Fantastic Four. After some changes to Marvel's release schedule, Fantastic Four will come out in theaters on February 14, 2025, instead of November 8, 2024, when Kevin Feige first announced it at San Diego Comic-Con. That's a long wait, but we're more than ready for it. Moving on to the actor who's campaigning to play Johnny Storm in the MCU. According to various sources, Austin Butler is the latest actor whose name has been brought up for the Fantastic Four role, as Marvel Studios looks to fill out its version of the first family of superpowers. Even though there's been a lot of talk about this, Kevin Feige has said no cast is currently on board for the Matt Shackman directed blockbuster. But that won't stop Butler's name from being in the news, as Elvis seems to be interested in a Fantastic Four role, and Jeff Snyder, an insider, has said that he had heard Butler's agents were putting him up for the Human Torch, as Marvel starts to cast the main roles for its 2025 Fantastic Four movie. Snyder also said that X-Men and Fantastic Four are the two crown jewels coming up for Marvel, so all the actors in town want to be part of those two franchises, which is not surprising for us. So, Flame on, Austin Butler. Coming up, would Austin Butler make a good Human Torch? Butler has been working in Hollywood since he was a teenager, but it wasn't until his work on Elvis that he became well known. The young actor's performance as the late king of rock and roll could potentially get him an Oscar, and Marvel Studios has paid attention to awards like that in the past. On top of that, many people think Butler would do a great job as Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, and in order to play Marvel's Man on Fire, he has to be able to play the part of a reckless heartbreaker down to a T. But there will be a lot of competition for these roles, and many people have already been fan cast or have said what they want to. So let's see who makes it to the top four. Lastly, the Fantastic Four's MCU future means Marvel must get casting right. As Marvel gets ready for Phase 5, which starts with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania this year, the Fantastic Four will play a big part in Phase 6. Kang, who will be officially introduced in Phase 5, played by Jonathan Majors, will be a terrifying new villain who who will open up a whole new world for the MCU. In the Marvel comics, Kang was a direct enemy of the Fantastic Four, and no one knows when the first big hints that the Fantastic Four live on Earth-616 will start showing up in the MCU. But many fans, including us, hope the Fantastic Four movie won't be their first appearance. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness surprised people when it showed Reed Richards from Earth-838, played by John Krasinski, who had been a fan-casting idea for years. But Krasinski has said that he doesn't play to play the leader of the Fantastic Four again, which means that all four roles are still up for grabs. As the Fantastic Four are likely to become some of the most important characters in the MCU in the coming years, this means that behind-the-scenes casting decisions are probably not being made on a whim. And it goes without saying, in Feige we trust. That's all for this video. Do you want to see Austin Butler as Johnny Storm in the MCU? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for for watching. See you next time.